you know, over history, sort of Western Europe has, has probably developed the greatest wealth much longer actually over time than, than, than America. And so it's sort of built up, but as we've, we've gained that wealth and so you become, I, I guess, slightly more complacent, slightly more used to everything being comfortable and, uh, but actually it's a competitive world out there. And what America's achieved in the last was it, 80 years since the second world war in terms of growth and, and, and I guess the 50 years before that is extraordinary, way, way outperforming what we've achieved in, in frankly, most Western European nations. And you do wonder whether it's almost like you sort of, you, you're going up and then you get a bit, a little bit sort of comfortable and a little bit decadent and a little bit complacent. And, and that just takes the pressure off and, and stuff comes from that. Uh, but fundamentally you still, you still need good leadership. And if you haven't got good leadership, then you can end up in any walk of life in a right pickle very quickly. Uh, and I think, um, and I think and there's a really big debate at the moment about nation state and borders. And some people sort of don't believe in the nation state. They don't believe in borders. They just think everyone should roam everywhere and that's all really nice. We have a very different view. We think that actually uh, pride and belief and confidence in your own country is is fundamental to who you are. And if you believe in the nation state, you've got to believe in, in borders and, and actually that your role is, as, as the government, as the leadership of the country is to fundamentally, it's to defend, defend your own citizens, protect them uh, and, and hopefully make outcomes for them uh, improve.